for today's video, we are going to have a short introduction to trigonometry. And for the entirety of the presentation, we will be dealing with a brief history of trigonometry, angles and its definition, kinds of angles, and kinds of triangles. Let us proceed with the first topic, which is the brief history of trigonometry. Where does trigonometry came from? Speaking of its etymology, trigonometry came from the two Greek words trigonon and metron. Trigonon which means triangle and metron which means measure. Thus, trigonometry means measurements of triangles. Now, when did it all start it? Early study of triangles can be traced to the second millennium BC in Egyptian mathematics, particularly in the Rhine mathematical papyrus and was also found during Babylonian mathematics. Due to lack of technology back then, trigonometry was used in surveying, navigation, and astronomy to find relationships between the lengths of the sides of the triangles and measurements of the angles. Now, thanks to trigonometry that we have a factual knowledge of the distance between the Earth and the Sun, and so on and so forth. But beyond the use, in modern times, there are applications of trigonometry that involve periodically repetitive phenomena such as wave motion, alternating electric current, vibrating strings, oscillating pendulums, business cycles, and biological shift between sets of real numbers. And there are a lot of persons involved in trigonometry, but these persons are the ones to be remembered. First, Hipparchus. Who is Hipparchus? Hipparchus is a Greek astronomer and a mathematician who is considered to be the father of trigonometry. The next one is Arabata, the one who discovered the first two trigonometric functions, sine and cosine. And the one who discovered tangent was Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi. And Abu al-Wafa Buzani was the one who discovered second, cotangent, and cosecant. Now, as you can see, uh, almost all of them are Muslims because uh, trigonometry back then was considered to be a single discipline during Islamic world. It is very important for us to know what angles are and the things connected to it because for the entirety of the course, we will be dealing with angle measures. Now, what is an angle? An angle can be defined as the union of two rays with a common endpoint called vertex. And this was discussed to you during geometry. The measure of the angle is determined by the amount of rotation of ray, meaning to say, the more rotations you have, the greater the measure of your angle is. If an angle is formed by a counterclockwise rotation, then the measure of the angle is positive. But if an angle is formed by a clockwise rotation, its measure is negative. We all know that angles can be plotted on the Cartesian coordinate system. And when the vertex of the angle is at the origin of the Cartesian coordinate system, and its initial side coincides with the positive x-axis, then the angle is said to be in its standard position. Meaning to say, the initial side lies on the positive x-axis of the Cartesian coordinate system. There are different kinds of angles, and these are the first one, zero angle. A zero angle is an angle formed by two coinciding rays without any rotation between them, meaning to say the measure of the angle is zero degrees. Next, acute angle. An acute angle, or can be called a sharp angle, is an angle between zero degrees and 90 degrees exclusively, meaning to say it cannot be zero degrees, it cannot be 90 degrees, just between them. The third kind is the right angle. A right angle is an angle formed by two perpendicular rays, meaning to say, if it's formed by two perpendicular rays, the measure of the angle is exactly 90 degrees, no more, no less. The next kind of angle is obtuse angle. An obtuse angle can also be called a blond angle. An obtuse or blond angle is an angle between 90 degrees and 180 degrees, 
meaning to say it cannot be 90 degrees it cannot be 180 degrees just between them the next kind of angle is a straight angle a straight angle is an angle formed by two rays extending on opposite directions meaning to say the measure of the angle is exactly 180 degrees you may refer to the illustration il uh, showed in the part in the presentation the next kind of angle is a reflex angle a reflex angle is an angle between 180 degrees and 360 degrees now it would be too confusing if we put a reflex angle and an acute angle and so with an obtuse angle at the same time so how can we differentiate them we can differentiate them by the arrow that determines the the rotation of the angle meaning to say if it's more than 180 degrees then it shows that it is a reflex angle and the last kind of angle is a complete revolution a complete revolution is an angle formed by coinciding rays with a full circle rotation between them sir is it the definition of the complete revolution is, is same with that of the zero angle no in a complete revolution it has a full circle rotation while on the zero angle it has no rotation at all now you can have many revolutions you can have many revolutions as you want you can have a lot of rotations if you want to meaning to say there would be an unlimited revolution we may now proceed with the discussion of the kinds of triangles and kinds of triangles can be classified into two that is according to angles and according to sides let us first discuss the kinds of triangles according to angles the first one is a right triangle a right triangle is a triangle wherein one of its angle measures 90 degrees or a right angle the next one is acute triangle an acute triangle is a triangle a triangle with all three angles acute meaning to say all of its angle measures less than 90 degrees and the last kind of triangle according to angles is obtuse triangle an obtuse triangle is a triangle wherein one of its angles measure more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees now acute triangle and obtuse triangle can also be called oblique triangle oblique triangle is a triangle wherein it composed no right angle and we may now proceed with the last topic which is the kind of triangles according to sides and the first one is iskalin triangle iskalin triangle is a triangle wherein it has no equal sides and isosceles triangle is a triangle wherein two of its sides are equal and the last one is the equilateral triangle wherein all of its sides are equal 